and welcome back. We are on our way to the Carpenters to speak to him about building a barn. It's all part of our devious plot to unite Thilliken and the widow Matilda uh, in order to reconcile Thilliken with his uh, brother, brother-in-law, I think. I can't remember which one. Anyway, uh, the Carpenter. I think, I think this is the, no, that's the wheelwrights. I think the carpenter's building is over here. Uh, let's see. Maybe not. Alright, I have no clue where the hell I am. Yeah, hell, let's go in here. Let's see. Um... Yes, okay, there's the carpenters. Alright, I'm sure it'll just be a matter of talking to him. We'll tell him about the situation with the barn, he'll give a sympathetic ear, and all will be well. Uh, where's Lucian, the barn? Alright, let's get him to talk. The carpenter! Yes, what do you want? Uh, nice to meet you. My name's Lucian. Nice to make your acquaintance there, Lucian. Wipes the sweat off his brow. I'm Rick Lincoln, the town carpenter. We're kind of busy here at the moment. Uh, Philican could use a new barn. Any chance of you making one for him? Just about everybody in town's needing something from me now. Come back in a year and I'll see if I can add it to my list then. Alright, now here, uh, with this little icon, this is, this means that this, uh, dialogue option is available to us because of one of our skills. I, I think this one is either sense motive or diplomacy. Anyway, uh, no, seriously, what's going on here? He stops working and looks up at you. It just doesn't make any sense. We work harder than any folk in town. The stonemason over there has, it, has got in good, and he doesn't do half the work I do. That doesn't sound fair. Rufus and Bernie are already on the town council, and they're not here much longer than us. I just don't understand it. Hmm, there must be something you can do. I think it's that Jeru fellow spreading lies about us new St. Cuthbert folk. He may say he likes a balance, but I think he's just a, he just as soon see us leave town. Now perhaps if we convert it to the old faith as Merrick would like... Yes, go on. Then I could be with my beloved Althea, interjects the carpenter's assistant. Uh, I would guess that makes you Merrick. Yes, I am Merrick, Rick's brother. Nice to meet you. As I kept telling Rick here, if we converted to the old faith, Philican would let me marry Althea, and the townsfolk here might finally accept us. Sounds good, so why don't you do it? Well, it's not that simple, I'm afraid. Of course it's not. Uh, Turgeon and Jeru have been arguing about converts here in Hamlet for some time, it seems. Turgeon wants more followers for St. Cuthbert, while Jeru just wants to keep the balance. So Jeru won't perform the conversion. Jeru refuses to even talk to St. Cuthbert people if they bring up conversion. I think he's got some arrangement with Turgeon. But as outsiders, perhaps you could speak to Jeru about converting us. Uh... You know, if it'll if it'll help get that damn barn built, sure, why not? Sure, I'll talk to Jeru about getting you converted. I'll make sure he converts you to old faith. So, uh, thanks so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, okay, that's, uh, let's see. Have you seen any bandits? Or I must depart. All right. So there's some sort of conflict. If you insist. Uh, well, sort of minor conflict or a social conflict uh, between the Church of St. Cuthbert, which is the newly arrived one, and the Old Faith, which is uh, sort of a run by a druid named Jeru. So we have to go to talk to Jeru about converting the carpenter and his brother to the Old Faith. So this is, the web of intrigue is being formed, and we have to pick our way out of it. Uh, this is Jeru's house, he's a druid, he of course lives in a tree. Right away! Let's speak to him. Greetings, friend. Hello, I'm Lucian. I'm Jaru Ashstaff. 
I am a druid of the old faith and one of the spiritual leaders of this community. One of the spiritual leaders? Who else is here? A temple dedicated to St. Cuthbert has been built north of here. The canon Turgeon presides there, serving his own flock. Let's just get to the point. So, do you like Turgeon? Oh, 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 oh my. Turgeon can be a very rigid thinker, but we get along in our own way. I miss the canoness, however. There was someone else in charge of the temple? The canoness Ide left some time ago. I know not where she went, but she was a good deal more amenable than Turgeon. Uh, will you allow a few more questions? How can I help you, my son? Some questions about the old faith. Yes, my son. What is it you would know? Uh, can you perform a conversion to the old faith from St. Cuthbert? Yes, I could perform such a conversion, but only with the consent of Turgeon from the Church of St. Cuthbert. There must remain a balance, after all. Of course. Okay. So, we have to go now. We have to go talk to Turgeon, the I'm head off. priest of the Church of St. Cuthbert, in order to get find out about, to get his permission so that Jeru can perform the conversion. Just keeps getting worse. Alright, fortunately now, the Church of St. Cuthbert is all the way in the north of Homlet. Fortunately, we can just fast travel there. And we're right at the church. So let's go in. If you insist. Yeah, I, I do insist, actually. Alright. Welcome to the Church of St. Cuthbert. I am Calmet. Please feel free to peruse the tracks and scrolls of our religion, or take a seat on our bench here. Oh, uh, the poor box is located on the far table as well. I'd like to visit with the chief cleric here, please. I'm afraid the chief cleric, Turgeon, is busy at the moment. Still, he might find time in exchange for a small donation to the poor box. Uh, yeah, he's, this is basically just a bribe, so... Here's ten gold for the poor, Calmert. Now, let me talk to Turgeon. Thank you for your kind donation. I'm sure Turgeon will be happy to speak with you now. Uh, just a few more questions. How can I be of service, lad? Remember, St. Cuthbert rewards those who give freely to the needy. Can you tell me about St. Cuthbert and his church? St. Cuthbert of the Cudgel is the god of retribution. It is important that all who follow him obey the laws of the land. Our church here helps those who stray from the path of lawfulness. It sounds pretty tough. Uh, does he need to exercise much retribution around here? Oh, St. Cuthbert himself rarely interferes, but we are his agents here at the church. Unfortunately, we have a delicate matter right now that requires some adjustments, you might say. Tell me more. Yes, well, one of the Braumeister's apprentices, Kavanaugh by name, has recently converted to St. Cuthbert, but he has failed to pay his dues. Would you go and collect the dues from him for me, please? Sure, I'll have a talk with this Kavanaugh fellow, you lazy, fat bastard. All right, so we've, we're now acting as couriers to bring a message right to away. A, a brewmeister's assistant that he's behind on his dues to the church. Just keeps getting worse. Alright, let's talk to... But we bribed our way into the uh, inner sanctum, and we're able to talk to Turgeon now. So let's have a word with him. This is the Church of St. Cuthbert. You appear to be lost. The door out is down the stairs and through the study. He's saying that because we're a bunch of selfish, chaotic, neutral bastards. Uh, I'm not looking for any exit, I'm looking for you. How can I help you? Um, I have some questions about performing conversions to St. Cuthbert. I can perform conversions here in my church, providing a willing convert who can prove worthy in the eyes of St. Cuthbert. Actually, I need to ask about converting from St. Cuthbert. The carpenter's brother would like to convert to the old faith, but Jeru said I should talk to you first. Blasphemy! That cannot be allowed. Uh, what, what, what if I could uh, arrange for someone of old faith to convert to St. Cuthbert? Would that be fair, then? 
I suppose that might be fair. There is a villager I've been trying to get to convert for some time now, Jack Borton, the leather worker. If you could convince him to convert, I might be willing to let Merrick... Okay, I'll, I'll go talk to Jack. Alright, let's ask a few more questions of Turgeon here. What is it this He's time? quite impatient. Uh, may I ask a few more questions? How can I help you? Um, can you tell me about St. Cuthbert and the history of your church here? Our church was built eight years ago after the war against the Temple of Elemental Evil in honor of the Archcleric of Valuna, who brought St. Cuthbert's assistance to the war. Canonessy Day was the first chief cleric here, and my predecessor. What is the Temple of Elemental Evil? The Temple of Elemental Evil was destroyed in the wars about ten years back. Its ruins remain an evil place. Unfortunately, I lost a great personal treasure to myself in those wars. If only it could be found. Uh, I'll, I'll help you find it, Turgeon, since you've been so polite to us. Uh, what is it? I lost an artifact of St. Cuthbert. It is a copper starburst pendant, not worth much to anyone else, really, but of great personal value to me. My father, rest his soul, gave it to me as a family heirloom when I became chief cleric. Do you have any idea where you might have lost it? Most likely in the Battle of Emrity Meadows. Uh -huh. I've searched everywhere in that meadow, but I have been unable to locate it. For finding such a thing, I would gladly lower rates for my soul. Sorry, Turgeon. I'll find it for you. Thanks, and good luck. The last place in that forsaken meadow I remember holding it was by a beautiful uh -huh. multicolored rock hidden from normal view. If you can find that in the meadow, it would be a good place right, to start. All right, so we'll just blurt out uh, Rainbow Rock. Could that be the, the famous Rainbow Rock? I have heard legends of that place. It is mostly common myth. Still, there may be some truth to the legend. But if adventure is truly what you see, I would recommend the Moat House. It continues to be a source of chaos. Oh, tell me about the Moat House. There are mostly bandits around there these days. But there is plenty of room for adventure there. Here, I will mark it on your map for you. Good luck. And let me know if you find anything at Emrity uh -huh. Meadows. So we found out about Rainbow Rock, and we can travel there immediately or go to the Moat House, which is another uh, branch for adventure. Uh, we're not going to do that right now, though, so I'll be leaving now. When we come back, we will continue FedExing our way around Hamlet. Stay tuned.